And here they are. The Brick Twins! Welcome back to the Brick Twins. And today we're going to be doing Twin Tall Bricks. This is going to be for all the October 2024 some releases. Some of them. Maybe some of them. Some of them. Some of them. For the um, October 2024 releases for Lego. <clears throat> and our fourth set we're going to be looking at here is the Magic of Disney. This one really creeps me out. Um, only reason is because Mickey doesn't have a mouth. Is his mouth closed? <laughs> yeah, he, doesn't have, oh, he doesn't have a mouth. Yeah, it's um, scary. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I really like to set some really detailed environments. But another mystery is who's this guy? If you have any ideas. <laughs> um, I'm not sure. So it looks really nice. I like this wave background here. We can actually get a better view of that by doing this. It's really nice. The waves really, built, really nice back. Um, it looks pretty nice. I mean, see some detail lines of maybe like Lion King, Kanto, Little Mermaid, Beauty and the Beast, Fantasia is one big thing that this is about. <laughs> um, and then I think some real life stuff and even a video. The creepiest picture of me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll get out of there. Um, pretty nice set though. But the next thing. one we come to is very cheery. This way is way better. The Santa's Post Office, the brand new Winter Village set for this year. I'm so excited about it. And this is. Santa's post office. This set is pretty crazy. I love it. 1,440 pieces. A new Winter Village. So excited. It even comes really in the top My favorite one from two years ago. Two years ago now. Santa, uh, Holiday Main Street. Will it top it? I'm not sure. Yeah, this one comes with um, a good amount of elves. And most of all, a workshop or a post office. Hot air balloon. And a hot air balloon. I love this hot air balloon. We'll get more of that on this review. We also have rooms inside of here. So we have the Santa room, which has him. He has his little desk right here, a little candle. And then right here, we have some shoots coming down from some of the post um, utilities. So we have one up here, which is like a letter. And then the hot air balloon. They can all come down into this machine, which has two quarts. And the two quarts are going to go to a set later in this video. Um, we also have... Oh, just a little main entrance space over here. It's I hope that um, seal seal thing that was exclusive that Arctic set we got last year. And also have a Christmas tree. And of course, this is a little area, little view in the main area. It's like a little hot chocolate machine over Hang here. Hangout area for the elves. Yeah. Nice. Oh, look, look, look at this junk mail. Not good. It says rejected winners <laughs> or selected winners. And then in here is. One of the other main areas, like the little area that keeps some mail at, there's an elf right there. And then up here is the top area. So this is another area where they... The area. I think they make the like, ink. Looks they like write they the something. letters. This is a better view of the two cuts that pick up the Detailed mail. Detailed envelope, not just the basic ones. We have some detailed Look, junk around. mail says... It's then we saw it says Select selected winners junk mail. <laughs> And then this hot is the air balloon definitely Santa. I thought it was going to be like the big thing about this set, like a huge hot air, hot air balloon. And it'd be like a smaller building. But the building definitely bigger than I actually anticipated it. But then we have five um, five minifigures, one Santa and four elves. I love the one with the aviating sunglasses. And here's the set. Oh, it looks so good. I'm so excited to get this. I like how everything kind of just goes together. Right um, here. And here's it without the roof on. And these are all the Winter Village sets together. All the main trees right there. Yeah. And buildings are so fun. I thought one is the sand that I love. That. Yeah, that was a nice one as well. Our pump glass was pretty good as well. But I and think then the here is, is a video. There's also a light brick in the hot air. So yeah. wow, that's so awesome. I love that. Use the top thing like the light. The mail transport to all the different areas. That is so cool. And it's all the main tree. <laughs> The new one down there. Look, oh, oh, man, so there's videos on here. What? Oh, Why? okay, we okay. did one of this video. Oh, okay. 
go to lego.com tonight and look at um see if santa's visit is still on lego.com i bet you it's not i already retired why is santa's visit on? yeah why is, i mean it has a new packaging but why is santa's visit on i don't get it i'll come out confusing i'll come out with only a year before why is that on there yeah <laughs> our next one here is a full star wars of the day yeah this is I honestly don't know about this. Something look force impression. This doesn't look too bad. This looks like a five-year-old built this. I don't know. I'm not trying to be mean to Lego here, but I don't this doesn't look professional to me. Maybe I need a closer look. But just looking at this set, the big standard about the set though is the exclusive droid figures is Q um yeah, QTKT. And QT is actually known for a um, gas station. <laughs> Quick trip. Uh, we have really cool minifigs on very nice printing. But I mean it compares with the very basic mini that you get in this set. Um 383 pieces doesn't really look like it comes with that many pieces, but um Maybe you just bigger than we think. Yeah, there's less, I mean at least of that windshield piece. I don't know. Okay, look, you can box the guys off of here. I guess there's some play features in the set. A little cannon. Not many pitters, just um pitter like this background. I love this photo. Look all the basic come up to the main <laughs> and it's right here uh it's cutie Kitty. our next set is something epic and it's the one that goes along with the winter village it's, as we said where does it go it goes to the post the yeah, post truck the, the post -truck. santa's delivery truck this one's really cool we have grandpa elf we have some presents and i actually think we should put the tree on top of it so like he drives by he collects some mail in his bag then he comes to and picks up these um, Christmas trees and presents. <laughs> Christmas trees and presents. And as you can see right here, you can put the roof on, take it off, there's some and stuff Christmas in there. You can put it right on top. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. I love it's this a really is cool very interior. Nice. Twenty dollars, you get this and goes along. How with many the pieces? Set. Is it a good price for pieces? One eighty three. Two twenty twenty four. Oh wow, okay. And wow, this is a really cool set. I love this vehicle. And it looks really good. I like that. We're planning on making a winter village like diorama. This is gonna look cool. But that's some vehicles here that fit. Yes. Next set is a. I mean, this one is definitely one of the most realistic sets. I actually bought the game right on the screen. This is the Super Mario Wars Mario and Yoshi. They make the 18 plus set every year, and this one just looks epic. I mean, if you play Super Mario World, you know what we're talking about. This looks like I just came right out of the screen. It, the land down here looks like they got the pixels just right. And the funnest part about that about this is not just a display. You can move this lever right here, and a bunch of things move. Before you say that, a lot of people said the back of this is like really bad. Oh, it's bad. It's bad. Look at how bad this looks. It's gonna when you display it, no one's ever gonna see the back. So I don't really get what the big deal is. Um. Uh, a lot of functions in this set as you see Mario's hand moves um along with uh no Mario's feet move along with Yoshi's feet Mario's cape and also there's a firewall that comes out of Yoshi's mouth um as you can see all the bunch of different moving features and this one is just the back of the box here you can see this moves a bunch of different things move but you actually see a video in just a second Right down online here. instruction. Oh, okay. They are they advertise online instruction, but okay. All of these it, 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 that come with a set? The, no, no. Th this is the um. It will put one piece on at a time. I know, right? Um, but here we go. This is the video kind of shows some of the movies. Oh. They put this on. And you can spin the lever, all the different things move. So I did Yoshi's hand. That moves the feet move, the cape move, all the moving functions. Actually, it looks really tasteful. And Yoshi's mouth up. Look how the firewall goes out. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Did not show any of the other Mario 18 Plus sets on here? Yeah, why? Why did that show? They only went for bigger than they did last year. They made the Piranha Plant and came with like 500 pieces. This one definitely comes with more than that. Yeah. Um, it's a very good set, honestly. It looks great. I definitely recommend it. We'll get it. We already pre-ordered it. And the final one, the grand finale, is the Java Sail Barge. Ha <laughs> ha, this thing is epic. If I had $500, I would be buying this, but I don't have that money. Anyway, I said it's super epic. 3,942 pieces for 
Jabba, you get the whole sail barge, um, all Bunch these minifigures. Mini I never watched all this before, but this minifigure looks like a Duplo minifigure. I'm not too sure what this is, but who knows? It's just Star Wars, so it has a lot of different characters in it. We have these interesting looking tops that go along the side. I like the detail on the, like, the brown lines. I mean, I feel like they could have tiled the whole thing off with all the stuff that I suppose does make it look like a playset in a little bit of a way, but but then you come to the interior, and this is where it gets so professional. Just this interior is so epic. Like this is just the front again. This is some really beautiful architecture here. I think it would have looked a lot better if they would have tiled the whole thing. That is my opinion on it. Um, and then we come to yeah. this the kitchen. This is so cool. We have a butler, all two D two, and it's like a worn out kitchen. It looks just even a little frog. Wow, this is just I wouldn't be, so I, nice. I wouldn't want to be eating that food. <laughs> and then up here we have, um, I think this is Princess Leia. And then this shooter here. that can probably shoot some bullets or whatever this comes with. And then we have one, all the minifigures. <laughs> Nine, about ten minifigures. That's eleven including. minifigures. Okay, eleven minifigures. That's wrong. Well, like Jabba. Jabba, yeah. <laughs> and then we have the Jabba display pack. Display pack. It has... All this really nice plate, the little 25 years of Star Wars. I, have on so it. Mi- I don't know if we have much of those, but they're kind of annoying because like kind of silly little things. But this one's actually connected to the thing I see, so not bad. And this is the back of the box. Is this Jabba? I don't know what that show is. That's just a minifig with the set. I don't know, but the inside looks really nice. And then this is, I don't know, these are like forced perspective photos. Forced perspective. It's like a jail cell. A jail cell in here for this guy. Oh, yeah, that's a minifigure. That's a really cool minifigure. And then over here, another part of this kitchen again. This is a really detailed kitchen. Wow, they need a lot to eat. That's for I love sure. detailed Lego kitchens. They always eat, like they always. Look oh, so I want to have a specialized kitchen just for Jabba because he's huge. He needs some. Oh yeah. Oh, go back up to that picture. That's where he sits. Oh. Right. Maybe. Maybe. And you can kind of see the scale how big Jabba is compared to the other. It's yeah, I like this photo. This photo can show you a lot. Oh, I've never seen that before, like a chocolate drink, chocolate milk or something. Hey, Jabba isn't an all one thing. I think he actually connects to it. That's oh, cool. never noticed that. Wow. That's and weird. there's one more display. There's some display photos of this scale. Like, look at this little, like, shelf top. That's how big it is when you put it down there. So it's a pretty giant set. Here's a video. building it right now it looks like all the different features in this set like a whole jail cell a lot of different areas because i want to use waste like entirely no it's a little detailed i love the top that's the one set that's the big detail that will use the best view of the intense commercial uh, video yeah. um I think that's going to end out Twins Talk Bricks uh, for the Octo- some of the October 2024 sets. We didn't want to mention these in the video, but this is the new Wednesday sets. Two of them actually look pretty good, like those buildable figure looking ones and the brick heads. Yeah, I think they're doing that stuff. stuff. Um, I think that's so much watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share. And thank you guys so much for watching today's episode on, on the, the Brick Twins. Twins.